Head for the Cure 5K events are not only successful fundraisers in the fight against brain cancer, but unique tributes for those currently fighting this terrible disease and remembering those who have lost their battles. Head for the Cure was started in honor of a man named Chris Anthony. Chris's motto was always keeping the faith. He lived it daily. He signed off every email with keeping the faith. And his faith enabled him to maintain his grace, dignity, courage, and strength throughout his illness. That's why every year we honor brain cancer patients and their loved ones with a special recognition we call keeping the faith. Each of their stories is personal and special and all are inspiring. In late 2012, after experiencing headaches and funny feelings, which were later determined to be a seizure, Paul went to the doctor where they discovered a mango-sized brain tumor. He went to San Francisco in early 2013, where he had his first craniotomy and was diagnosed with a grade 3 anaplastic gastrocytoma. He then had extensive PT, OT, and speech therapy, six weeks of radiation, and one year of chemotherapy. But despite the challenges that Paul faced, he always kept a positive attitude and worked hard every day to be independent. Paul then went seven years of being cancer-free. During those years, he continued to get monitored by his doctors at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville and continued to have clear scans. He started a family with his wife, Angela, and he is now a stay-at-home dad to his two children, Henry, age 8, and Avery, age 5. But in early 2020, it was discovered that a small tumor had regrown. In June 2020, Paul had his second craniotomy. His tumor remained a grade 3 anaplastic astrocytoma. He again had a difficult recovery, which included a one-month hospitalization, two weeks of inpatient therapy, followed by outpatient PT, OT, speech, and another year of chemo. Since then, he has continued to have side effects of aphasia due to a stroke he had during surgery. Currently, Paul also manages his seizures through medication that had an increase in episodes in late 2021, possibly due to a spot that has appeared. He has been put back into chemotherapy to fight off the spot. He has had to navigate this new way of life and work hard to be where he is today in his recovery. Every day, Paul takes a step forward into the future that is not promised. He breathes hope into our family daily. He is the best father, husband, and he is an inspiration to me. He has participated in Head for the Cure since 2013 and loves being a part of a community that promotes awareness and raises funds to help him care. Despite life's ups and downs, Paul remains hopeful. On August 27, 2018, Susan Tyler was diagnosed with a stage 4 glioblastoma. Jana went to the army August 30th, 2018, and subsequent joint chemotherapy, program therapy, and the months to follow. Things were going steady for a few years since the diagnosis until November 2021, and MRI showed a recurrence of cancer. Fortunately, it was in an operable position. And on January 10th, 2022, she underwent her second craniotomy to successfully remove the tumor. Despite the hardship she has endured since her diagnosis, Susan has always kept the positive and human-filled attitude. She continues to always put others before herself. If it were not for her and the countless sacrifices she has made for me over the years, I know I would not be where I am today. I want to recognize my mom for the Keeping the Faith Award because her story and her will to fight truly really embodies what this recognition award stands for, and she always will be an inspiration to us all. If there is anything you can learn from her in this terrible disease, it would be that no matter what life throws at you, keep the faith, and holding on to hope will always get you through anything. To quote Susan, always stay positive like a proton. Thank you for your courage and for allowing us to honor you.